Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn they love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for keeps She like to suck on the road Madden Heads YouTube, what's up? This is your boy Coach DC coming back at you again with another video. Um, it's actually a defensive video, but I'm on offense right now. Just want to show you guys what happens when you don't click on, when you click on late. You playing against a guy who can throw, you don't stand a chance. I'm just being honest. You don't. If he knows what he's doing, you don't stand a chance. Uh, you you need Madden luck. Because if he knows what he's doing, if he gets a decent throw, chances are he's going to catch that ball. Now, this is me on defense. And what we're going to discuss today is more effective uh, techniques for usering and clicking on. All right. Now, here's one big secret I have to. I don't play the man. I play the ball used to be a point in Madden where the spot on the ground when the ball was thrown it was it was it was it was very visible now in Madden the spot is almost you can't see it until you get up on it you see the orange right there uh, as you see me run out there and, and challenge the guy and, and uh, I got moss so clicking on all this stuff you can lose but hey once you get it down and you learn it you're going to win way more than you lose. Trust me. As you see me making a, a traditional video house call here. Uh, there will be several. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> but to me, the key to, to effective usering and, and, and clicking on and all that stuff. Like I said, you, you see there, he wasn't throwing to anybody in particular. He was just trying to get rid of the ball. I saw the spot as opposed to me chasing behind the receiver. I just go to the spot and get the pick. You know, also knowing route combinations and all that stuff and, you know, recognizing your opponent's tendencies uh, can play a tremendous part uh, as we house another one here. Yeah, there, there's a theme happening here. Yeah. But the thing is, um, basically, it's just like everything else I say, man, it's 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 sometimes you, you it's situational sometimes you have to click on fast sometimes you have to click on slow uh, sometimes you just gotta know what you're doing um yeah let's, let's do this again so you see cam right there look at me right on the spot i don't care about the receivers i care about the spot once i see the spot of the ball i'm gone i'm, I'm going to the spot now one key thing one key thing that, that I'm going to explain in this video is I'm going to change. I'm, I'm going to show you guys how to change some settings, some stuff that actually will help you, especially you guys who are kind of new to it. You know, haven't been doing it as long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's very tranquil. <laughs> if that's even his name. Oh, wow. We have a bleeder. Yeah, but. I'm going to show you guys how to change some settings and I'm going to show you guys some techniques that that will be very, very, very helpful to you. I know in some of the other videos I have talked about um, hitting the A button as opposed to holding the Y button all the time. We're going to get into some of that, you know, um, route combinations. Got to know your route combinations and tendencies. Watch me pick this off. Watch this. Uh, he had hit me with that trail route like earlier in the game. And, and once I saw the formation, I. There's Madden. If you see the screen blink like that right before the play snaps, call timeout. I'm telling you, because they're they're gonna they're gonna do something stupid. They're gonna cheat you. Yeah. But anyway, look at this. Uh, that right there is a possession catch on defense. Yeah, that's all A. Clicked on, pushed down on the stick, and held A as the ball arrived. And as you saw, he got down and made the catch. Um, me, I like to speed up my opponent's quarterback or I like to slow him down. So early in the game, I may blitz, 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 blitz. And you may get one or two. 
or not. You know, you, you could throw a pick six. You know, that could happen. Um, but yeah. So I like to if if I start out blitzing, chances are I'm gonna blitz until you do something that makes me come out of it. Now here's a chance. Here, here's a. That's me clicking on holding. That's me clicking on running to the spot and hitting the A button. Yeah, that's A. That's not Y. Look at this. Another one. Nice A. Yep. See that time. The thing about the A button that I don't like about it is not consistent with the catch. But if you you perfectly position your um, whoever you you have on defense, whether it's click on or user, if you perfectly position them, then you will get the interception. I, I like to use a scrape technique. This is what I call watch me scrape across the formation. Ah, I use this all the time. So you might have trips to the right and I'm blitzing from that side. And I may have the safety on the other side, but trust me, I am. You throw it, I'm coming. As you see me get in alignment here, and you'll see it again. I call it a scrape technique. It's me basically scraping across the formation, and I'm picking up anything that comes my way. So right there, uh, uh no sir, nah, nah. He looks open, but he wasn't. And the thing is, if if he had thrown a post route, yeah, he probably got me. But the pressure's coming. And you have to decide, you have to understand whether I'm actually sending pressure or not, because sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I just sit there, I bait you. Oh, no, I wasn't going with the crossing route. I had somebody sitting over there. I knew you was gonna throw the stop. Once I saw him stop. It's all about playing a mind game. I keep telling you guys it's about playing chess, not checkers. Now, you'll see in this situation with uh, Owansu, is watch, I'm, I'm, he had been running the ball to the right. So I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm looking for the run, but now I'm like, okay, if he throws, see now once I see him not throw, uh -uh. scraping back to the left. Beautiful pick, he never saw it coming. Never saw it coming. Um, and, and, and like I said, usering is about, you have to take something away, something. Yeah, preferably it's the ball. <laughs> uh, as you see here, look at Kaiser. I hate the linebacker running on this game. Ah, we have a bleeder. All right, let's get into this practice mode thing, man. Make this video quick. Let me show you guys uh, a couple of these little techniques and, and, and things that I use here. So what I want you to do is once you turn your game on, before you ever play a game, I want you to go into your, uh, your game options. And see, once you go into your game options, you, I just want you to check and see. Some of you guys may have already had this stuff on, and I'm just explaining it as if you don't. So some of you guys probably already know this. Some of you advanced Madden guys, I'm sure you know this. But what happens is there is a couple of mechanics that are within the settings that, that people, I don't think everybody uses. Because when I explain it to some people, they like, what? I didn't know that happened. All right, so as you see, I'm on on Madden. Auto flip, defensive uh, ball hawk is on. And now, the defensive heat seeker assist and especially the defensive switch assist, cut all three of those on. Make sure those are on. This stuff, especially for your beginning guys, and, and you can kind of read the, the description uh, up here in the right hand corner really quick, um, what these mechanics actually do but this will help you tremendously when usering and also uh, uh, your click on game defensively. <sighs> yeah, trust me. I, 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 for the longest I had them off and, and, and once I cut them on, I started to, you know, like, wow, wait a minute, that works. So if I'm okay, I'm gonna show you something on the stick. I'm gonna show you something that you may not know. I don't know how many people do this. I know I, I have done this religiously probably for the last two or three years in Madden. And this is something I even told a, a, one of my homeboys about this and he didn't know and I know he's been playing Madden longer than I have. But when you see ball in air, notice the defensive assist button is LB. Same, uh, same layout for PlayStation 4 for you guys. So I don't know what that'll be for you guys, but it, it's, it's in the same spot. Okay, so the LB button. Let me tell you guys something about this LB button once the ball is snapped. If you are not holding consistently 
the LB button throughout the course of your play on defense, you're, yeah, you, you, you're probably losing some steps. The defensive assist button is probably the best mechanic on defense. I'm here to tell you, especially when it comes to usering and clicking on. What it does is it actually, it kind of keeps you in a mode where you can actually move around. Like you, you can move around without actually losing your momentum. It, it's not going to swing you all the way around and all that old crazy stuff and nonsense. So I'm going to take you guys into practice mode and show you how these mechanics work. So yeah, on not before the ball is snapped. As soon as the ball is snapped, the first thing I'm doing, I, I'm covering the LB button and I'm covering the A button with my thumb as I control the stick. My right, my right uh, index finger is on the... <clears throat> on the speed burst it's just these it covers these buttons now i'm gonna purposely get gilmore beat here just to show you guys how these mechanics work so i press him of course tyreek hill beats him like a drum but ah wait a minute how did he catch up first of all the ball was thrown a little bit short i'm guessing now if he threw it but i mean how far can you throw the ball he, we're at the i mean was he supposed to throw it like 80 we're at the 35 all right so if he had threw, if I had threw the ball way earlier, like right there, yeah, it probably would have been a touchdown no matter what. But a lot of people, you know, wait. So, so watch. As soon as I click on, look at the makeup speed here. That is me holding the LB speed burst in A. You have to learn how to marry your mechanics, fellas. You gotta learn how to marry your mechanics. So as you see, the ball begins to make its downward flight. And so Tyreek has to adjust. Once he adjusts, look at the quick makeup speed. Now here's what's dumb. I panicked and thought I was beat. And so I was just gonna try to go and, and, and try to get as close as I could before I tried to go up for a SWAT or, or just held A to play the receiver and try to, you know, crash into him so that he can actually drop the ball because that actually does work. All right, but watch. As soon as I click on, right there. Now watch, watch the makeup speed. Watch this, watch the strides improve. Bam, bam, bam. And actually, what's what's bad about the A is the A plays it true. So if I if I had turned around and hit the A button or turned around and was holding A at that point in time, I might have gotten a pick. I probably would have just got a knockdown because that's the that's the one drawback of using the A button as opposed to the ball hawk. You won't get the the incredible interceptions. But what it will do is if you know if you're quick enough. You can hit A and then Y. But see, I'm using the A to get me in a position to make a play, not to actually make the play. So look, right there, still got beat. But I am not mad at the coverage. If a guy can can out user me or out click on me or, or just just he has a receiver that I'm just not big enough to guard in in most cases, I can understand that. But for me, I'm I'm like I said, I try to play the ball no matter where I'm at. So in this case, I'm in a trail technique. Well, it, I wasn't in a trail technique. He just ran by me, which put me in a trail technique. But anyway, so watch me as I click on. Once I click on, I am holding LB and I am holding A. Look at look at his. I had to stop there. Actually, I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, no, what I was going to say was look at the way he looks. He plays the receiver. He's not looking back at the ball. He's playing the receiver. So watch one more time. So watch Gilmore, watch him turn his head to actually look at the receiver. He should be looking at, he should be looking up at the ball. Now watch him. This is the A button. Watch him turn his head. Eventually, eventually. Well, when he gets close enough, he's gonna turn his head. Watch him turn his head and go, look right there. That's A. Now it was on me. To, now, what I did was I hit Y then, but I hit Y in a dive kind of knee jerk reaction as opposed to circling him around and going up for the ball. See, there's the difference. So so none of this stuff is like the end all be all. But what you have to do is you have to be able to use certain things in certain situations. So like now I'm going to play it the way I would probably play it. Uh, traditionally so I'm gonna you know if I'm if I'm in this I'm definitely against Tyree Hill I'm definitely definitely in over the top coverage so I'm gonna you know make my adjustments in this time 
and watch the difference in how he plays this, but I am going to use the whole LB, whole LB speed burst, and then once the ball starts to arrive, I'm gonna get on A, and I'm gonna show you exactly what happens. All right. So ball is snap, of course, over the top, so he's playing a little bit better. Now look at that. Ugh. That's Tyreek Hill, man. Gilmore's a 92 speed. He's not 99. So Tyreek Hill beats everybody. There's nobody he doesn't beat. So, so, but watch how these mechanics work. The L, B, and the A. Now watch. When I click on, what you're going to see is at some point, you're going to see Gilmore start to reach out with his left hand to try to feel for the receiver. That's the playing the receiver mechanic. Now, the, all the LB is doing is helping me position. Now, I'm also on speed burst. There's the left hand. So, see, what I realized was I was on it too early, and it made me start losing speed. That's what animations do. You, you wonder why you get beat deep sometimes because you're sitting there holding the, you're holding the button. And a lot of times, you guys can't catch, and you, you, you wonder why your receiver does the dumb thing like running to the, to the defender, and it seems like you get stuck on him. That's because you've been holding the, the catch button the whole time. He's in an animation. You have no control over him when he's in an animation. Animations can be used to your advantage. So that was a great play right there. What I did was I, I you know, LB speed burst A until I got to the position. And then I didn't get off of the, the A quick enough to get to the Y. So he dropped the pick. So that is a drawback to it. it you just gotta learn how to get on the Y or, or position yourself better. All right, so even on corner routes, and this is me, two sticks this is me with two sticks so that's that's me throwing the ball and that's me clicking on to catch it well clicking on to make the pick on defense now what you have to understand is if i didn't have to pick the stick up i probably would have been three yards in front of him. so so now watch as i click on this is when i click on i'm clicking my click on and me holding lb go hand in hand that I'm hitting both of those buttons at the same time. Watch as soon as I click on, I'm pulling back towards the receiver because I know where the ball's going and watch that first step foot in the ground. Foot in the ground immediately. No, no fighting him. No, and I mean, that is Gilmore. So, so some of your other corners, you, you might not get as quick of a reaction. So, so I, I mean, I understand that part. Gilmore is probably the best corner of the game. So, but as you see, once I click on, watch me come back to the ball. That's LB. Now that's Y. And uh, let me get that. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me borrow those. Anyway, man. I'm keep the fire coming, man. Next video, drop show four. Y'all going to love it. Coach DC, man. I am out of here. Enjoy your holiday weekend, fellas.